Hi there, welcome to Sheet Leveler. I'm Joanne, and I'm here to help you make the most of Excel and quickly learn how to use it with our easy to follow video tutorials. Today, I'll be showing you how to easily convert Excel to Google Sheets. So, if you're ready to begin, let's get started. To convert an Excel file to a Google Sheets document, start by opening your Google Drive. Click the New button in the upper left corner and select Google Sheets. This will open a new Google Sheets document. Now, go to the File menu, select Import, and you'll see a window with several options. You can import an Excel file from your Google Drive, shared documents, or recent documents, or upload it directly from your computer. Let's select the Upload option. This way, we can easily drag and drop the file we want to import, or use the blue button to search for it on our computer. Let's start by clicking on the blue button. Once that's done, we can choose the file from our computer and then click Open. Google Sheets now provides three different ways to import files. We recently opened a new blank Google Sheets document, so it would be most efficient to select the Replace Spreadsheet option. To complete the process, click on the Import Data button and you're done. The data has been transferred from the Excel file to the Google Sheets document and the feature Filter is still present, indicating that the transfer was successful. It is essential to keep in mind a few things. When converting a spreadsheet from Excel to Google Sheets, some features and settings may be altered due to the difference in formatting capabilities. Excel offers more options for formatting spreadsheets than Google Sheets, so some of the additional features may not be compatible when converted. When copying data from an Excel spreadsheet to a Google Sheets document, any macros used in the Excel document will not work. Additionally, some functions that are supported by Excel but not yet by Google Sheets may not be converted correctly. The data will remain in its original form as it appears in the Excel file, so you can trust that it won't be changed, just that the function will not be carried over. If you found this tutorial useful, please show your appreciation by giving the video a like. Are you new to Sheet Leveler? If you would like to improve your Excel skills, hit the subscribe button and learn how to use Excel like a boss. I appreciate you taking the time to view my video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.